Outsourcing and offshoring, what's the difference? Now, we just talked about what the difference is on who and where in our last video, which was just the introduction to this. So let's dive a little deeper. So the who and where options. So we have the governance on this two by two chart, which is on the left, the make and buy. And then the geography, is it domestic or is it international or overseas? So if we're bringing it back from overseas to domestic, well, it's called reshoring. But if we're sending it from a domestic to international, it's offshoring. And then if we're going to insource it, we're bringing it back within our company, it's insourcing. And if we're taking that function out of our company, that's outsourcing. So it's really, you know, two things to understand. And these are the options we have here. Do we do it ourselves or do we outsource it? If we're going to outsource it, are we going to do it domestically or overseas? And we have our different options here that you see in the chart. We have shared services, onshore outsourcing, offshore outsourcing, and captive offshoring. So the, this is diving a little bit deeper and giving you a chart so you can see where things line up and how you can go back and forth and the terms that I might be using in other videos. So that's it for this video. And so we understand now who and where, whether we offshore and outsource. So let's go ahead and dive next into the who should do it decision. So we're now we're going to focus on who. So we're focusing on outsourcing. So let's go ahead and do that in our next video.